Hello artists, I am Miss Strand and I'm really excited to be with you today. I think I have the perfect day planned for us. Today I am going to read you this book. We are going to do theater, which is acting, or another way to think of it is pretending. And we're also going to think about feelings. After I'm done reading the book to you, we are going to make art. What you will need today is a piece of paper and something to write with. It could be a pencil or markers, crayons, colored pencils. Once you've done your drawing, you could even use paint. So I'm going to teach you about theater. So for theater, we are going to make silent frozen statues. And what we're going to use to make our silent frozen statues is ourselves, our faces and our bodies, which are the tools of an actor. In between the frozen statues, we will do something that is called actor neutral. Let me show you what actor neutral is. Um, it just means being yourself. Here I am in actor neutral. We have a calm body and we're not acting any particular way. I don't normally have a calm body, but I do when I'm doing actor neutral. So uh, I'm going to make a silent frozen statue of a ferocious lion. So what will I need? I will need my claws. I will need my teeth. I will need my ferocious expression with my eyebrows. Oh wait, that's not silent. Hold on. And when I say one, two, three, freeze, we freeze into our silent frozen statue. So watch me first and then you'll have a chance to try it. Watch this. Okay. One, two, three, freeze. And back to actor neutral. Are you ready to try it with me? So when you hear my voice saying one, two, three, freeze, freeze is where you're going to be absolutely frozen. No moving. Let's try it. One, two, three, freeze. That's not frozen. Stop moving your eyes. Okay, now make it 10 times more ferocious. And back to actor neutral. Okay, so that is a silent frozen statue. One thing we know as readers is that characters have feelings that change. Is it only in books that feelings change or is that something from real life also? Hmm. Yeah, that's real life also. Has this ever happened to you? One minute you have one kind of feeling and then the next minute you have a completely different feeling. Yeah, me too. And the reason is that no matter what your feeling is, whether it's a enjoyable feeling or not an enjoyable feeling. Either way, that feeling is not going to last. It's going to change into a different feeling. It's a good thing to remember, especially right now. The title of this book is I Love My New Toy. It is an elephant and piggy book and it is by Mo Willems. Mo Willems is both the author and the illustrator of this book. And that means that he wrote the story for the book and he also did all the artwork, all of the drawings in this book. I love my new toy! Hi Piggy, what are you doing? Look at my new toy! I love my new toy! Can we make a silent frozen statue of Piggy who is loving her new toy. Let's try it. Okay, I've got my toy. I'm using my face. I'm using my body to show the love I have for this toy. One, two, three, freeze. And back to actor neutral. What does it do? I have no idea. Maybe.
maybe it is a throwing toy. I love throwing toys. Oh my goodness, look at Elephant. He looks kind of like he's going to do some mischief, like kind of something he knows he shouldn't do. Have you ever done that before? Done something that maybe you knew you shouldn't have done and you did it anyway and you're like, should I eat the cookie now? I mean, I know I'm supposed to wait till after dinner, but it's just right there. Oh, I really want that cookie. I really want that cookie right now. <sighs> Am I really gonna do this? I shouldn't, but I really want to. Let's try making a frozen statue of that, ready? One, two, three, freeze. And back to actor neutral. Here, try it. Yes. Zip. Nice throw. Thanks. Here it comes. Zoom. Break. Okay, question. Are they still excited? No. <sighs> Something happened, and it looks like their feelings have changed. I broke your toy. You broke my toy. Let's take a moment to do a silent frozen statue. You can choose Piggy or you can choose Gerald the elephant. It's your choice. They both feel bad, but kind of for different reasons. Piggy feels sad for herself, but Gerald feels sad for his friend. And I wonder if he's feeling bad that he caused his friend to be sad. Let's see. One, two, three, freeze. And back to actor neutral. My new toy. I am mad. and sad. I am mad and sad. I am sorry. You are sorry. Very sorry. I do not care. My new toy is broken. And you broke it. Wow. Oh my gosh. That is going to be such a fun frozen statue to do. Okay, let's try it. Remember, it's silent. One, two, three, freeze. In my brain, I'm thinking, wah. But out loud, I'm going, and back to actor neutral. Wow! Ooh, look what's happening in the corner here. Cool. You have a break and snap toy. Snap! That is a fun toy. Enjoy! Break! Snap! Break! Snap! Do you want to play with my new toy? No! 
Oh my goodness, it looks like she's having this feeling that sometimes we call embarrassed. Embarrassed happens uh, sometimes if there are other people around and then there's something that you're not really proud of. Like that time I was racing to the front of the line and then I fell down in front of everybody. That's embarrassed. So now Piggy looks embarrassed, but Gerald the elephant, what kind of feeling do you think he's starting to have? Tell yourself in your own private brain what feeling you think that Gerald might be having right now. And also think about if you've ever had that feeling before and when that might have been. You do not want to play with my new toy? I do not want to play with your new toy. Oh my goodness, look at Piggy. What feeling do you think Piggy is having now? Tell yourself in your own private brain. I want to play with you. Friends are more fun than toys. You're it. No, you are. Oh my goodness. What a roller coaster of feelings. I'm going to remind you about some shapes that you probably already know about, and then I'm going to show you how you can use those shapes to make some drawings. Then it'll be your turn to make some drawings. to see what you do. 